Hello, dear momsies, popsies, and mga kaguro. And to all the students, hello and good day. If bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, please click the subscribe button and please hit the notification bell para updated po kayo sa classroom video tutorial ko. For today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to use interactive games or quiz using PowerPoint presentation. So sa hindi po nakapanood ng aking last video, please click the link in the description box sa baba po yan. At may mga bonus pa po yan, teachers. May mga module and PowerPoint presentation na ready-made po. So ika nga, sharing is caring. So now, we will know first the features of PowerPoint presentation na kailangan nating gawin. Okay, let's have number one, hyperlink. Meaning, we need to link the slide with the other slide. Okay, then the second one is voiceover or narration. So, paano ba natin i-insert ang ating voiceover or narration with the slide? Okay, and the last one, automatic. Meaning, Yung slide or your PowerPoint presentation natin, no need to click no, the keyboard para ma-open yung other slide. What we want is to automatically open yung mga slide na ating i-present. Okay, so these three features are needed in applying the PowerPoint presentation, of course, that we want in order for our online teaching to be more interactive. Ayan po, so are you excited? Okay, so much better po if you will have your PowerPoint presentation open para makasunod po kayo sa ating classroom tutorial. No, step by step po natin yan. Okay, so I know you're ready and I know you're excited. And now, let's start. Okay. So again, open nyo lang po ang inyong PowerPoint presentation. So make sure if you have the clips already, if you have the slides already na, pre na prepare, yun po, pwede po natin gawin yan. And pwede nyo ring i-edit po. Okay, so let's have the slide. Again, welcome to my class or Teacher Gracie Jean's class where you can learn more and share more. Okay, so for my subject, no, na aking cite an example is contemporary Philippine arts from the region. Okay, take note for this. Creativity makes a person unique. Okay, so example here. First nating gawin na sa features ng PowerPoint presentation is the hyperlink. Okay. So, isoshow ko lang po ito. Paano ko ba siya na link? So, example, this one. Okay. Ayan. Let's answer yes or no. Press here to start. Okay. Pag prenes ko po ito, Nalilink po yan with the other slide. Ayan po. Nalink po siya dito. Welcome. Choose your learning body. Okay. Another. If I'm going to click this one, I'm going to choose Jane as my body. Hi. I'm Jane. Let us work together in finishing this task. Okay. And one more. If I'm going to click go back. Okay. And I'm going to choose Bob as another body. Hi, I'm Bob. Let us work together in finishing this task. Okay. And one more thing, if I'm going to click start now, another link Answer na po yan. Is humanities comes from the Latin word drawn, meaning human, yes or no. Please click your answer. Okay. If I'm going to click yes, okay, how about if I'm going to click go back because my answer is wrong. I want to make it perfect. So I'm going to choose no. 
Okay, so that's it. Paano ko ba yan siya nilink? Ika nga sa sinabi ko kanina, hyperlink, we need to link with the, we, we need to link the slide with the other slide. Okay, so going back. Ito. So, paano ko ba siya ginawa? Uh, later na yung voiceover, number two yung voiceover. I know you're excited. So, paano ko siya ginawa? So, if ito yung pressed here, di ba ito? So, paano ko siya ginawa? So, look at this one. If I'm going to scroll here, may lalabas po na, ayan, may follow link. So, right click lang po. Okay, right click. May lalabas po dito. Okay. So, since may link na po siyang nakalagay, I'm going to remove the link first because my link kaninang lumabas. But before that one, before you insert the link, make sure may nagawa na po kayong slide na gusto nyong i-follow for this slide. Nakuha nyo po? Diba? Dito sa, ka, sa kabila, ang kasunod po ng slide na ito is yung welcome. So, Kaya nga, sinabi ko kanina na if you are going to do the features of PowerPoint presentation, make sure you prepare something or a clip or a slide na nagawa nyo na na kailangan yung i-follow. Okay. So again, ang kasunod na slide na ito, which is number 5 or number 6, ang kasunod niya is the welcome. Meaning, ito po ang kasunod ng press here. So, ayan. Assuming na nagawa ko na to at assuming nagawa nyo na rin. So, pag clinic ko po ito, so ayan, wala na po siyang link. Ah, Ni-remove ko po kanina. So, pag clinic ko na po ito, right click, makikita nyo na may hyperlink po nakalagay. No? Right click sa inyong mouse, hyperlink. Click hyperlink. Ayan. So, dito po sa Place in this document, dito po, nakita nyo pa, nakita nyo po, okay, place in this document, click nyo po yan. Ayan. So, lalabas po dito ang mga slide titles or mga number na slides na ginawa po ninyo for your PowerPoint presentation. So, what you are going to do now? So, look at the uh, slide. Dito naman, sa kabila na naman. With your left side, ang gusto nyong i-link ay ang kasunod ng let's answer yes or no, di ba? Or anong gusto nyong uh, ginawa nyong slide dyan? So, ang kasunod ng let's answer yes or no is I want the welcome. So, ang number ng slide ng welcome na gusto kong i-link is number 6. So, going back with the insert hyperlink, hahanapin ko ang slide number 6 or ang title na welcome. So, ito po. Click welcome. Okay. And click okay. So, ayan po. Okay. Tingnan natin kung may, na may link na ba. So, ayan. Pag naka-underline na po siya and welcome na po ang nalagay, meaning, pag clinic nyo po ito or pag clinic ng student, kahit wala po itong uh, internet connection, Mada-direct po siya sa link na in-insert nyo. Okay po? Naintindihan po? Okay. So, again, ayan na po. So, let's show in a slideshow. Okay. Ayan. So, again. It's answered. Yes or no? Press here to start. So, my direction. Okay. Pag-press ko po. Okay. Automatic po siya sa slide na welcome. So, going back. Ayan. Yun po yung una. Next, we are going to use this one. Ito na namang welcome ang gagamitin natin. Since my direction here is welcome, choose your learning body. So, meaning, the students were choose kung anong gusto nilang learning body. So, again, nililink ko naman po siya with the other slide. So, again and again, make sure nakaprepare na po ang slide na gusto nyong ilink. 
So gumawa na po ako dito, kunyari, ang bata uh, choose niya si Jane. So dapat may nakalink na po kayo or may nagawa na po kayong slide. And another here, so ginawa ko na rin po na paano kung ang bata ang, ang, ang choose niya is si Bob. So meron na po akong nagawang li uh, slide. So going back with the welcome slide. So, garun, ganun din ang gagawin natin. You are going to click, right click, and here, meron pa po yung link. So, i-erase ko muna. Remove ko muna yung link. So, remove link. Okay. So, wala na po siyang link. Okay. Pag clinic nyo siya. Okay. Wala na. Wala na pong lalabas. And dito, dalawa ko na lang po ang nilagay. So, kasi, paano pag clinic niya yung girl? at pag-clinic niya yung name. So, dapat meron na po tayong advance, no? Idea kung ano ang dapat na gawin ng student. We will need, we need to put our shoes with their shoes also. Okay. So, again, remove ko ang link dito. Okay. So, ito wala na po siyang link. Okay. So, again, ano po yung number one? Right-click. And hyperlink. Okay. So, again, look at the left side. So, yung babae ang pinili, it's slide number 7. So, click slide 7. And then, okay. So, ayan. Let's see kung may link. Ayan, meron na po siyang lalabas na slide 7. And dito, pag-click ko rin po ang hyperlink, another still, it's slide 7. So, slide 7, okay. So, ayan, pag-clinic na po natin, meron na po siyang lalabas na slide 7. Okay? So, same process with here. No? Use the hyperlink. And then, follow the rule. Look at the slide in the left side kung anong number ang slide na gusto nyo i-link. So, again, let's play in the slideshow. Okay, I'm going to choose Jane. Hi, I'm Jane. Let us work together in finishing this task. Okay, so going back. Okay. So may nagtanong na paano po yung go back? O, kasi ang napakita natin kanina is pa forward. So how about if meron siyang go back? So same process. Okay, look at this one. Diba? May nakalink again. Pag, pag nakita po ninyo ito, ito pag-click nyo at may lalabas dyan na welcome, meaning doon po siya babalik. Okay. So, I will remove the link. Okay. Ayan. Na-remove ko na. So, so, right click and click hyperlink. So, gusto ko siyang i-go back. Huh? So, dito ko siya gustong mag-back sa back uh, slide 6 or welcome. So, ayan po, ikiklik ko naman ang 6 or welcome. Dahil doon ko siya gusto bal balikan eh. Dahil doon yung uh, direction. So, ayan. Ilang. Okay. Hyperlink. Okay, welcome. Okay, yan, may, may na ano na. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So, plug clinic na po natin siya. Yan na. Okay. Go back. Hi. Automatic po siya sa welcome. Okay? So, welcome. That's it for our hyperlink, how to insert hyperlink. So again, right click, okay, babalik lang po natin. Let's have a review on how to insert hyperlink. So right click, okay, click hyperlink, dili lang, dito. Okay, click hyperlink and choose slide na makikita nyo sa right side ng mga slides kung anong gagamitin nyo na link. So again, we need to link the slide with the other slide and click OK. OK. 
Okay, that's it for hyperlink. So now, let's move to, I know, kanina kapay, ka, ko pa kayo na feel na you're very excited. So now, let's use the voice over or narration. So ito, okay, yung narinig nyo kanina, di ba? So going back. Pag tinig ko yan. It's answer yes or no. Press here to start. Welcome. Choose your learning body. Ayan. Hi, I'm Bob. Let us work together in finishing this task. Okay, so going back. Okay, I know you're excited. So, nakikita niyo po ito. Ayan. Ayan po. Icon po yan ng audio. Okay. Yan, nakikita niyo po yan. And then dito, may audio din po yan. Ito, may audio yan. And here, may audio din dito. And sa baba naman, still may audio icon po yan. And here, still may audio icon. So, paano po i-insert natin yung ating voice uh, over? Okay. So, here. Okay. Ito. Or assuming dito ako gagawa. Or ito na lang. So, i-delete ko po yan. Uh, and hindi ko na po yan gagalawin. Dito ko na lang po. Click. Okay. Sa iba. Sa itaas po. Click insert. Ayan. Insert. So, makikita nyo dito sa end. Sa end ng right po. Katabi ng screen recording. Okay. So, audio. Ayan po, audio. Click audio. And since, uh, here, kung meron po kayong na-record na, na na-save sa inyong PC, pwede yung gamitin doon. But uh, here, gusto mong fresh. Okay. Gusto mong ngayon. Gusto kong uh, maiba naman ang aking record. So, try to click record audio or click record audio. Yan. So, lalabas po to. So, kung gusto nyong lagyan ng name, ang record sound niyo, pwede. But for me, hindi na. Okay. So, ito po, read that. Pag ready na po kayong mag-record, pwede nyo siyang, ay, i-click nyo siya agad-agad pag ready na. Pero pag hindi pa, ah, but don't worry, pwede nyo rin pong madelete. Okay? So, assuming, gagawa po ako. So, ayan. So, na-click ko na po yung red dot and nagre-record na po siya. Ayan po yung sound length niya, nagre-record na po yan. So, pagtapos na po kayo, okay, ayan, click the blue button. Yung square po. Ayan, click that one to stop. And then, click okay. okay. So, kung gusto nyo pakinggan before nyo siya i-insert sa inyong slide, maaari po. Okay. So, ayan. So, ayan. So, na-click ko na po yung red dot and nagre-record na po siya. Ayan po yung sound length niya, nagre-record na po yan. So, pagtapos na po kayo, okay, ayan, click the blue button. Yung square po. Ayan, click that one to stop. Okay. So, now, gusto mong uh, i-trim. Okay. So, here, dito po tayo. Okay. Try to look at the upper part. Okay. Click this one. I Katabi po ng format, may nakalagay pong playback. Okay. Playback. Click nyo po. Ayan. So, dito, ito po. Sa baba ng design. Ayan. Nakita nyo po? Okay. Click trim. Ayan. Okay. Play ko lang ulit. So, ayan. So, na-click ko na po yung red dot. So, And here. Na po. What if I want to trim or to crop 
na gusto kong dito lang ang voice na gusto ko. Okay. So, maaari nyo po yung i-drag side. So, meaning, pa, look at yung ano nyo, kailangang lens ang mata natin. Meron pong mga, ayan po, yung mga lines, ayan, ayan, dito po, ayan, zoom in yung mga mata ninyo. Okay. Pag nakakita po kayo na maraming mga ganin dito, meaning, dun po ang mga words na na record pag plain lang po yung record ay uh, yung na record meaning wala po kayong uh, hindi po kayo nag-start magsalita doon so how about gusto kong i-trim so ayan lang po trim lang trim lang kayo kung anong gusto niyo o saan niyo gusto so ayan so what oh, out it is sound lens niya nagre-record na po yan okay so ayan trim ko na naman gusto ko yung yung ano so pag tapos na po kayo okay So, how about this one? Click. So, pagtapos na po. So, ayan lang po, kay easing. Okay. So, if ayan, okay na po click yan, na. click okay. Pag okay na. Okay. So, meaning, nandito na po siya. So, pagtapos na po kayo. Okay. Ayan. Click the... Okay. So, here. Ayan po. Yung voice narration natin. Okay na? Okay na tayo doon? Okay, so how about, doon na po tayo sa number 3, pwede na po? Okay, doon tayo sa automatic. Okay, so kanina ma'am, or kanina teacher Gracie Jane, nakikita ko na automatic po siya lalabas. Okay, here. Let's play the slideshow. Let's answer yes or no. Press here to start. Okay, di ba hindi nyo narinig yung ni-record natin? So, kailangan ko pa siyang i-click so, ng okay. So, tapos na po kayo. Okay. okay. Ayan, click the... Okay. So, meaning, hindi po siya automatic na lumabas ang ating voiceover. So, kailangan ko pang i-click ang enter ng aking keypad para ma... Oh, keyboard, para ma... Play yung voiceover natin. So, how are we going to use the automatic para direct na po tayong uh, ma-insert yung ating, ma-play yung ating um, voiceover? So, here, going back, okay, still at the playback, click playback. Now, here, in this part, okay, yung sa start po, ito, nakita nyo po, dito sa start. Drag down, this one. Okay, ayan. Click automatically. Okay, click automatically. Ayan na po, na-click na po siya. Okay, so going back to the slide. Let's answer yes or no. Press here to start. So, pag tapos na po kayo, okay, ayan, click the... So, hindi ko na po klinik ang enter ng aking keyboard. Meaning, automatic na po siya. After the, the record ng iba, ayan, magpa-follow na po kung anong unang ni-record mo, tas pangalawa, tas pangatlo, and so on and so forth. So, automatic na po siya. Okay? Excite? Nakaka-excite po? So, ganun din po ang ginawa ko sa mga slides. Okay. So, how about teacher? Ito pong ginamit nyo. Okay. Ito. Click ko siya. So, ayan. Ito. Click ko siya. Ayan, ah, dito. Ayan. Hi, I'm Jane. So, ang ginamit ko dito, same process. Hi, I'm Jane. Nag-record lang po ako. Hi, I'm Jane. Ito po, let us work together in finishing this task. So, and then, same process. Click playback and automatic. Okay? So, nakuha po. Okay. So, another, let's have a review.
So, how to insert voiceover or narration automatically? So, first, click insert, click audio, and then choose record audio. So, appear po yan, then click red dot, then if you're done with your recording, click the blue dot or the square Color blue yung square niya pag nag-start na kayo ng record. And then, click OK. So, after you click OK, lalabas na po tong audio icon. Then, click. Ito, ito. And click playback. Then, if you want to trim, if you want to crop, or gusto mong ma... ma ma-edit yung audio mo na ni-record, click trim audio. And if you want automatically lalabas or magplay play yung voice over mo, automatically click start here po and then lalabas po, may kasama po yung automatically ha, in click sequence automatically and when click on. So choose automatically. Okay. Okay. So, let's play again. Wala na po kong ginalaw. Let's answer yes or no. Press here to start. So, pagtapos na po kayo. Okay. Ayan. Click the... Okay. So, i-press ko lang po yung press here. Okay, I'm going to choose Jane. Hi, I'm Jane. Let us work together in finishing this task. Okay, I want to go back because I want to choose Bob. So I'm going to click Bob. Hi, I'm Bob. Let us work together in finishing this task. Okay, so that's it. Ayan po ang ating tatlong features na nagawa lang sa PowerPoint presentation. Diba? Nakaka-amaze na kaya pala sa PowerPoint presentation siya gawin. So again, let's have hyperlink, video over narration, and automatic. So yun po ang nagawa natin for today's tutorial video. So I hope na meron po akong naibahagi kahit konti po sa ating mga kaguruan na magagamit po natin sa ating online teaching, especially with the new normal setup. So, if may natutunan po, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, of course, and hit the notification bell para updated po kayo sa ating mga classroom video tutorial. So, that's it for this morning in uh, part 2 will be uploaded next para sa iba pa namping classroom tutorial. So, of course, if you want to comment down below kung anong video na gusto nating i-upload related to classroom video tutorial, pwedeng-pwede po. So, God bless everyone and sulong kalidad and proud to be an educator. Spread love and positivity. God bless and keep safe.